Hey guys, it's Insane Dragon Knight HD here, and welcome to episode 38 of my Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke challenge. In the last episode, we defeated Sabrina and got the Marsh Badge. In this episode, we will be going to Cinnabar Island and hopefully doing something there, but hopefully at the least we can get to Cinnabar Island. Now, before I start talking about Pokemon and all that stuff, I would like to apologize for me not uploading for the past three weeks. As you guys know, uh, my uncle came over here. He stayed for like a week. And then I was going to record, but everyone was here. And it was like school shopping and all that stuff. So I wasn't able to. And then after that, basically school started. Now school's been going alright for me. Kitchen Warner House has been going. School's been going alright. Just had like the first week of school, starting the second. Um, classes are a lot further away than last year, which I guess kind of sucks in a way, but at least I'm getting closer to the end of school, which means, oh, yay, college. But, so, I would like to give a shout out to Ty Danitar. Uh, he makes great videos, um, awesome Let's Plays, even though he's finishing Light Platinum halfway through the game, even though there's another region which is I believe the Lauren Elite Four. I'm not really sure. I've never played Light Platinum. I might do a Let's Play of Light Platinum if I can find a full version of Light Platinum, but I've never found a full version of, of Light Platinum. So, we're good. So, Cinnabar, so the way to get to Cinnabar is kind of a bit tedious since we do have to go back to Pallet Town. And I believe we do not have Fly yet. Now if we had Fly, it'd be a lot easier. And I'm hoping we don't run into any wild Pokemon that could say poison us or something because that would suck because this is a Nuzlocke. Um, I just noticed we are in Cerulean which means we are going the completely the wrong way. We're not supposed to go to Cerulean, we're supposed to go to Viridian which where we can take the route to Pewter. Now I'm wondering if there's any Pokemon we've got in here. Because I don't think we've caught, captured a Pokemon here since we've never actually checked it out. But it's a Rattata, so we're probably not going to um, cap capture it now. Oh, now, oh, I'm sorry if, there were, if you heard moving. That I must have accidentally moved the mic or something, but that's no big deal. Um, so now we're going to head up to or go to Viridian since we are completely lost right now and have no idea where we should be going now because I haven't done this game in a long time. It's, and it's been three weeks since I last uploaded a video. Now uh, the classes I got in school were like stuff like geometry and usual high school stuff. But I'm in uh, Spanish 2 this year and I have some Spanish teacher who's like mean and stuff. I really don't know. She's actually kind of mean. Um, her name is Miss Adams. She is some old lady who speaks in Spanish most of the time and hardly ever speaks in English. Which kind of makes it annoying because last year her teacher didn't speak in much Spanish. Probably because we didn't know that much Spanish. But I wish I had a nicer teacher, but I don't get a nice teacher this year, sadly. So now we so now we are going to head down to the rock tunnel and take the shortcut. If you wanted to go the long way, you could go all the way through the rock tunnel again, all the way through all that crap, and then you would be dropped down in Pewter. But we don't have time for that with this episode. That would take about another four five maybe six seven episodes to get all the way there which i don't have that kind of time because i'm not going to be uploading much now if you guys give me five likes on this video i will upload another video within the same week i'm no longer going to do um daily uploads um anymore unless it's like a holiday or something <coughs> uh sorry about that guys but i'm not going to do any more daily uploads because of school um, because school just gets in the way of everything. School gets in the way of my schedule, gets in the way of me trying to EV train because I am focused on schoolwork and stuff, so I am not able to do much anymore. Now, I will try to upload as much as I can. 
Um, I'm hoping I can get at least 75 views on this video or more, considering the last video got a lot of views. So now we are back in Meridian City, and it feels so great to be here after being here after such a long time. But we can't stay long because we have to go to Pallet Town and then go on to Cinnabar. I believe there's a man that we didn't get a sample from here. Because here there's a man that will give you a potion if you just go up and ask him. Considering I've never actually done that, so I don't really know about the whole potion thing. Considering I've actually I've done it before, I just don't, really don't feel like doing it. And I just now realized we could have captured a Pokemon in the grass, but now we are going to go battle this man. I got a big haul. Want to go for it? Um, no, I don't want to see what your big haul is. I'm actually scared of what your big haul is. So he's got six Pokemon, and oh, it's the Magikarp man. Oh my god. We happened to get him, so we're not going to switch out because obviously this man is a magic, has a ma six Magikarp, so he's literally going to be no threat. Um, because Magikarp, as we all know, is a weak Pokemon. Can't learn any TMs or HMs. It's pretty much worthless, except for the fact it can evolve into Gyarados. Now, Gyarados, very good sweeper, very good attack. Um, a couple of Dragon Dances will sweep an entire team, basically, if you're not prepared enough. Now, if you're prepared, then of course you will not get sweeped. But most people are not prepared, and most people get sweeped. Now, with me, I got sweeped by a noob because I did not have EV trained Pokemon. His Pokemon were probably EV trained, considering mine weren't. I mean, if your Pokemon are EV trained, you're not really going to get anywhere in competitive battling. You might be able to get somewhere, considering if you get lucky, but probably not, because a lot of people tend to EV train their Pokemon. Now, I've already learned about EVs. I'm EV training a Yamask right now. I'm getting into IVs right now, which are individual values. Kind of, kind of harder to understand than EVs due to the fact it has its own formula, which I've never memorized because I don't really care much about formulas. But I have written it down because it's how you determine what a Pokemon's top stat is before it actually hatches out of the, uh, uh, as soon as it hatches out of the egg. It's, al it's already got IVs before it's... It's IVs are predetermined when it's in the egg, not when it's hatched or anything like that. Because, I don't know how that works, but now we're gonna go battle this trainer over here, who hopefully has some better Pokemon. You wanna know if the fish are biting? Uh, no I don't. I don't care. I don't wanna capture a Pokemon here. So now Fisher Ronald would like to battle. Fisher Ronald's gonna send out Sea King, which is obviously a decent Pokemon. But we're not we're gonna switch out Ranger because more than likely he knows a water type move. And we're gonna switch out to Sucker. Um, and we're probably gonna go for the wing attack, which is probably going to kill his Sea King. He's gonna go for the water sport, which is gonna do nothing because we do not have a fire type. And it's not useful because he has a team of only water types, and generally fire is not effective on water anyway. So I don't know why you'd want to teach a uh, water Pokemon water sport, um, because it's not really a grass type for any Pokemon that's weak to fire. Because every competitive battler knows that that's a bad, that's just a bad move. Now the other thing is I have to learn about move pools and all that crap. Uh, I know what a move pool is, but I need to learn like successful move, move pools, or I'll just use Smogon when creating a team. Considering Smogon is very good with team, gives you OU, UU, MU. If you really want to do an MU that never used, go ahead. Never used is really is just the worst of the worst. And another thing I discovered is how why my Golbat won't evolve. So you guys know how my Golbat hasn't been evolving. Um, the reason why it hasn't been evolving is because uh, apparently they added this stupid thing to where Golbat won't evolve until we get the National Dex. And the National Dex is after you beat the game. Bad thing is, I probably won't be doing post game. More than likely, I will not be doing post game since this is a Nuzlocke. 
If I ever come back to Fire Red, yes, I will do a post game. But I probably won't be going back to Fire Red for another year or so, considering I've already finished this. And after a year, I will definitely come back to Fire Red. So we're going to get this annoying uh, evolution screen every single time Golbat attempts to evolve. Um, sucker attempts to evolve, I meant. I'm probably going to end up cutting this out every single time because there's no use to actually show the evolution. So I'm probably not going to show it anymore. Because I don't want to bore you guys with the screen that evolution. I also might start at making sidebars. I'm not sure if I'll make a sidebar. <coughs> Sorry about that again. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll make a sidebar. I probably won't due to the fact I I don't really feel like it um, and it's kind of hard. Uh, sorry about the coughing, it's just, yeah, I ate some wheat, some wheat thins and they're aggravating my throat. No, I mean some Triscuits and they're aggravating my throat, so sorry about the coughing in this episode. Hopefully this episode isn't terrible because I coughed. Um, now, if the commentary is not good because I coughed like two times, I'm sorry about that. It, it's probably good anyway, so it doesn't matter. So we're going to take out this Star U by using Bite, because Star U is a... And sorry about the phone ringing. Oh my god, there's been two, there's been three, inter there's been three interruptions. Me coughing twice and a phone ringing. But, uh, so we're going to defeat his... Now back to the thing. We're going to defeat his Star U, and he's going to send out War Turtle, which I... War Turtle, which is actually a good Pokemon, but we're going to go for the bite, which is going to do one, about one-fourth damage and make him flinch, but he's going to go for the protect, and that's going to pretty much make bite useless, considering we do not need to worry, real, we, we worry about bite anyway, but it doesn't really matter, but so let's hope, let's hope he is a protect spammer, because I hate protect spammers. Everyone knows about protect spammers, um, double team spammers, uh, let's see, uh, there's a lot of spammers out there. There's also a, a, what, what, technically what we call noobs. Uh, remember back when we were fighting Lieutenant Surge, he was a double team noob, and looks like this guy is a protect noob, so he's going to keep spamming protect every single time. Now luckily I'm not um, Pokemon Playbook, my old friend, and and I'm doing a blaze black nuzlocke because I'm glad I'm not doing a blaze black nuzlocke because I've seen that game and it looks like I failed in like the on like the first gym. I'm not good at nuzlocks in general; they are easy, but I'm not good at them anyway. So here we are in Cinnabar, and there's not much to do here except for go to the Cinnabar Mansion and take on the gym. Not sure what's in the Pokemon Lab because I've never actually checked it out. I'm not sure if that was in the original game or if it was actually in the Fire Red game only. But that's pretty much all we're going to do for this episode. There's nothing else special or anything else that we did. So I'm probably going to end the episode here. This has been Insane Dragon Knight HD. I will see you guys with episode 38, episode 39 of Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke Challenge. Bye.